Hi people, this is Stupai Med Insta question 2. Among the following, which is the most helpful for rapid diagnosis of M tuberculosis? Is it Negrosin stain, Ormen Rodomin stain, Gemsa, Right Gemsa stain, or Zeal Nails technique? Let's begin with the first option. Negrosin stain is important as a negative stain. And this is also referred to as India Ink preparation. The word negros stands for black. Though it can be a racistic word, remember it is capable of giving you a black background and this is capable of giving you a negative staining. What do you mean by negative staining? The structure to be demonstrated is not stained. While the background is stained, the organism appears brighter in front of the background. What is ornament rodament stain? These are two important stains which are useful for fluorescent microscope. Let me tell you the meaning of the word fluorescence. If I throw light of a particular wavelength onto a substance and that substance gives out light of a different color that is called as fluorescence. I repeat, if I am supposed to attack a particular structure using color or a light of a different color, for example 350 nanometers is the color I use, if it is capable of giving me a different color like 470 nanometers, then that is called as fluorescence. And the right answer is oramin, rhodamin staining, which is capable of giving you a rapid diagnosis of M tuberculosis. Why? If at all the organism is existent, if MTB bacillus is existent, the moment you attack the organism using the stain, when the stain touches the organism, instantly it glows like a flower. You will be able to see it very clearly like a flower. And you will be able to measure every single bacillus very clearly. Gemsa, right Gemsa stain in bacteriology is useful in case of analyzing and looking at Borrelia. Zeal Nielsen technique is the standard modified acid fast technique meant for mycobacteria and for all the organisms under the order Actinomycetales. Here I want you to understand one thing. Zeal Nielsen technique can be useful for M tuberculosis. Understood but it is not giving you an answer as a rapid answer. While in case of ornament rhodamin staining, you can get answers rapid fast. In a matter of seconds to minutes, you will be able to get the answer. Let's look at the theoretical explanation behind this. Ornament, rhodamin, lysamine, sodium thiomalate are the fluorescent dyes used in case of fluorescent microscopy. And what is the contraindication for sodium thiomalate? The technician is not supposed to use any kind of gold ornaments in his fingers like rings because the gold can react with sodium thiomalate to form orothiomalate which is capable of causing liver failure. On that reason, if you are using or handling sodium thiomalate, you are not supposed to use gold in your fingers. The microscopy is best for rapid identification of tuberculous bacilli if it is fluorescent microscopy. So this is our discussion for the question. Thank you.